The five men on trial for allegedly planning the September 11th attacks were all tortured by the CIA before they were moved to the prison at Guantanamo. The self-described ringleader, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, was waterboarded 183 times. Now, Mohammed and his co-defendants may be sitting in a military courtroom this week when the psychologists who created and then participated in the CIA torture program testify about what they did and why. First, this is the first time that these men will be talking openly, publicly in court about the pattern and practice of illegality that they were hired by the U.S. government to engage in. James Mitchell and Bruce Jessen were contract workers for the CIA from 2001 to 2009. They've always defended working in the Enhanced Interrogation Program in CIA secret prisons. But after several former detainees sued them in 2015, Jessen and Mitchell claimed the CIA had forced them to keep waterboarding, beating, and humiliating suspects so they would talk. Legal experts say in the case of the 9-11 defendants, this is a critical matter to explore. Whenever you have a death penalty proceeding, you need to know uh, what was done to this person, what this person did and what, this, and what was done to them in order to make a reasoned moral judgment about their culpability. The 9-11 suspect's statements to the CIA won't be used as evidence in their trial. And after hearing Mitchell and Jessen's testimony, the trial judge could decide to block the statements defendants gave to the FBI once they arrived at Guantanamo. What's not clear, whether the public testimony from the architects of the CIA torture program will make a difference to Americans 19 years after the September 11th attacks. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.